In this video, we're going to talk about the equity method of accounting. What are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about parent and subsidiary companies. Now, I went over that in a previous video, but now let's go a little deeper. When you go out as a parent company, let's say you're a mega conglomerate like Microsoft or GE or some big other co corporate client, and you 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 uh, you've got this super humongous company and it does business all over the world, so on and so forth. And you look at a smaller company, something that just runs in a particular region of your country or maybe a region of another country, and they're starting to make a lot of profit. You think, hmm. What happens if they start making profit for us? So you go out and you buy at least 20% of shares in their company, and you may even buy more than that, and suddenly you now have controlling interest in the decisions made by that company. So you become the parent, and this smaller company becomes a subsidiary company to you. Well, the thing is, when you first buy those stocks, they have a value. And you have to chart that. You have to subtract from cash, and now you have an account on your on your books that says investment income. All right. Now, the thing is that those stocks will not remain that value every day for a whole year, and that's because the stock market goes up and down and up and down five days a week, 52 weeks of the year. So those stocks that you just bought are going to be going increasing in value, decreasing in value, up and down and up and down. And you have to show these increases and decreases on your balance sheet every month until the tax man arrives and then he takes out his taxes and then, then the income is actually yours. Now remember, the income really isn't yours until you sell off those stocks. So it just looks good on paper and you may not actually receive anything. Now, the thing is, if they pay you a dividend, because remember you've invested in them, they pay you a dividend, that is income and that is recorded in cash. But, uh, if they're not paying you a dividend, well, it just looks good on paper until you actually sell the stock. Alright? But you have to show these increases and decreases of the stock value, value that you, you've bought into uh, every month and like I said, you do, you do this until the tax man shows up and then you start all over again. Alright? And that's pretty much the equity method of accounting. You can look up the specifics on the internet. There are plenty of lessons on this. But that's the basic gist of it. Alright, I'll talk about more things in a future video, so stay tuned.